whatever it takes, I am gonna meet my dad. You hear that, Dad? We're going on a quest! Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 MCU actors who have voice acted in animated movies. Uh, enough games! <laughs> to the Ratmobiles! Oh, wow, you are so limber! <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Incredible! Windows down! Dive in! For this list, we'll be looking at those MCU actors who have also knocked it out of the park in animated movies. Who is the best voice actor in the MCU? Let us know in the comments. All right, let's get to it. Number 10, Vin Diesel. What is it? I am Groot. So what? Within the MCU, Vin Diesel has a fantastic track record when it comes to his continued voice acting role as Guardians of the Galaxy's Groot. He manages to convey a wide spectrum of emotions using only a few words. We are Groot. This skill should come as no surprise to anyone who remembers Diesel's breakthrough performance in 1999's The Iron Giant. With relatively limited dialogue, Diesel effectively conveys the emotional depth and character growth of the titular robot. Diesel's powerful and expressive voice tends to allow him to completely disappear into his animated roles. Number 9. Edward Norton Strange as it might seem to recognize Edward Norton as part of the MCU, the gifted actor did introduce the world to this universe's Bruce Banner in 2008. In the late 2010s, Norton developed an affinity for voice acting, something he had mostly limited to The Simpsons prior to that point. Devon Bradley, character actor, dancer, singer. I'm a triple threat. But Norton gave us an unforgettable big screen performance when he portrayed the neurotic Sammy Bagel Jr. in Sausage Party. I'm Sammy Bagel Jr. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to meet all of you. He also starred in the English dub of the Chinese film Little Door Gods. We were meant for greater things, brother. Delay. I'm done following their rules. In addition, Norton had a supporting role in Wes Anderson's star-studded and quirky Isle of Dogs. He shined again as the relatively reasonable canine named Rex. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Number 8. Scarlett Johansson I'm done running. It's only to be expected that a master spy like Natasha Romanoff can slip into characters seamlessly. In between her missions as Black Widow, Johansson lent her one-of-a-kind voice to several animated flicks. She delivered a memorable performance as Nutmeg in Isle of Dogs. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. It's full of toxic chemicals. Johansson also starred as Royal Mermaid Princess Mindy in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Father, I wish you'd try a little love and compassion instead of these harsh punishments. And if you ever wanted to see her as a singing porcupine, watch her show off her vocal chops as Ash in Sing. With Johansson set to reprise her role in the upcoming sequel, expect to hear a lot more from her in the animated realm. Uh, you guys okay? <laughs> Number 7. Kate Blanchett Kate Blanchett can pretty much do anything, and that includes animated movies. As the MCU's goddess of death, Blanchett effortlessly established Hela as a commanding figure to be feared and respected. You see, I'm not a queen or a monster. I'm the goddess of death. But this wasn't the first time the actress portrayed a deity. Blanchett's authoritative but emotive voice made her the perfect choice for Grand Mamare in the English dub of Studio Ghibli's Ponyo. Ponyo? What a lovely name. Outside of Disney, DreamWorks handed Blanchett her most famous animated role. She appeared as Hiccup's mother Valka in the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Did you know about this? <laughs> Every dragon has its secrets. She played a warm, fierce, and three-dimensional character that we just wanted to learn more about. Number 6. Idris Elba Asgard is not a place. It's a people. While Heimdall wasn't the biggest role in the MCU, Idris Elba doesn't need a ton of screen time to leave a lasting impression. The British actor spent the majority of 2016 lending his voice to Disney, and Elba made every single word count. I almost... 
must think it was some kind of man cub. Unfortunately, Elba's turn as Shere Khan doesn't count, as The Jungle Book is technically not an animated movie. But the actor also voiced Finding Dory's Fluke. Ah, yeah, I almost forgot. As well as Zootopia's Chief Bogo. Didn't forget, just don't care. While his portrayal of the sea lion fluke got to see him show off his comedic chops a bit more, his role as Bogo showed us his depth and versatility in the vocal booth. Who cares? Ha! Huh, you should have your own line of inspirational greeting cards, sir. Shut your mouth, Wild! Number 5. Andy Serkis I made the crime! <laughs> Long before he was laughing and playing admittedly great music as Claw, cinema's definitive motion capture performer was lending his voice to many projects. We are famous. While his voice acting roles in franchises like The Lord of the Rings and Planet of the Apes are great, it's all about his animated work today. In 2006's somewhat forgotten Flushed Away, Circus formed a fun pairing with Bill Nye as two gangster rats. Here they are! Don't get them, mate. He also appeared as an elf in Arthur Christmas. But perhaps his finest vocal role was in Steven Spielberg's The Adventures of Tintin. Circus steals the show and delivers a solid performance as Captain Haddock. Look at the pair of them. Fast asleep. Typical land lovers. Hey, no stamina these days. Number four, J.K. Simmons. You're fired. Parker, hello. You're fired. J.K. Simmons was so perfect as J. Jonah Jameson in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy that the MCU brought the actor back in the role for the second Holland Spidey film. But that's not all, folks. Here's the real blockbuster. Brace yourselves, you might want to sit out. Despite boasting one of the most instantly recognizable voices in the business, Simmons still has a knack for disappearing into roles. The actor's intimidating voice makes him an easy pick for villains like Kung Fu Panda 3's Kai. I will show you the true power of Chi, brother. But Simmons' strength lies in his ability to inject gravitas and a sense of history into his performances. And how do you think they're going to feel about their mayor, who is a lion? No other film highlights Simmons' vocal talents better than 2019's Klaus. His well-rounded performance made him a standout among the stacked cast. Delivering these toys, seeing the joy they bring to children, I thought I'd never feel this again. Number 3. Tom Holland I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? The MCU's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man enjoyed an incredible run in the late 2010s. Tom Holland has also established himself as a Hollywood A-lister with unlimited range. Along with his big live-action roles, Holland has periodically dabbled in animation. In fact, his first movie job was voicing one of the main characters in the UK dub of Studio Ghibli's Arietti. I would really like to know your name. You can call me Sho. Do you even have one? Towards the end of the decade, Holland became the go-to actor for many projects. Imagine if I could make you, wait for it, drumroll please, disappear. He voiced lead characters in 2019's Spies in Disguise and Pixar's Onward. As the straight-laced teen who desperately wants to reunite with his father, Holland helped make Onward's Ian Lightfoot a very sympathetic character. Hi, Dad. Hello? Hello? It's me, Ian. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Did you have a good day? <laughs> well, I'm trying to. Yeah, me too. Number two, Samuel L. Jackson. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. In a career spanning four decades and counting, Samuel L. Jackson has appeared in nearly every type of movie under the sun. While the MCU's Nick Fury took a while to make his animated film debut, Jackson hit the ground running in a big way by voicing Frozone in Pixar's The Incredibles. Honey! What? Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? He would later reprise the extremely cool role for the movie's 2018 sequel. It might get weird. I'll be there ASAP. 15 tops. Be it drama or comedy, Jackson's voice can instantly grab the audience's attention. I'm Whiplash. This here is my crew. The actor gives standout performances in Turbo and Astro Boy. I'm old school. And we cannot forget that time he graced us with Mace Windu again in Star Wars The Clone Wars. This is a dark day for the Republic. So 
So who could possibly top someone like Sam Jackson, whose voice work, I think we can all agree, is iconic? Well, let's listen to some honorable mentions, and then we'll see which MCU actor's voice acting stands above the rest. Michael Keaton. The Vulture also voiced Barbie's Ken. So, who's ready for Ken's dream tour? Zendaya. Zendaya is MJ, Zendaya is Lola Bunny, Zendaya is Michi. And then there's this. The Scroll of Invisible Wisdom. Just imagine the amazing stuff they put on here. Michael B. Jordan. Before he was the villainous Killmonger, he starred as the heroic cyborg. He went in without a plan or backup. That's where you come in. If we want to win this thing, we need the best tactician on the planet. You. Benedict Wong. The man who brought us Wong was born to play an animated warrior. I too wish to join this fellowship of Droon, but kickery. Karen Gillan. Nebula co-stars with Spider-Man and speaks with a Scottish accent. They call me Eyes. Spectral analysis and quantum optical thermography. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Chris Pratt. Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? Well, Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. The MCU put Chris Pratt firmly in the spotlight for the whole world to see as the hilarious Star-Lord. While Guardians of the Galaxy is fantastic, it might not even be Pratt's best 2014 movie. Before becoming Star-Lord, Pratt voiced the squarest of every men in the Lego movie. Good morning, apartment. Good morning, doorway. Morning wall, morning ceiling. Good morning, floor. An animated film that exceeded all expectations, the Lego movie is overwhelmingly charming, heartwarming, and hilarious. Pratt's performance as Emmett Burkowski is a huge reason why the Lego movie and its sequel work so well. The name's Rex. Rex Danger Vest. Galaxy defending archaeologist. Calibor. Raptor trainer who likes building furniture, buzzing heads, and having chiseled features previously hidden under baby fat. Pratt also co-starred with Tom Holland for a well-received tale of brotherly love in Pixar's Onward. Put it in O for Onward! Did you forget about any of these MCU actors' animated movies? Also, sidebar, have you seen Sing with Scarlett Johansson? It's really cute. I'm looking forward to Sing too. Anyway, as always, I would love to hear your thoughts on which of the animated movies we mentioned is your favorite. So tell me in the comments, or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram, at Rebecca Brayton, or on my YouTube channel. See ya!